In PADS, it is very easy to see graphical feedback when you deal with components that have nets with length restriction rules. If you move a component that has length controlled nets, you will notice in the navigation window that connection lines attached to component are shown in yellow color because length had not reached the minimum length limit. Once the connection color turns green, as you continue moving the part, it indicates that the length is within the min-max range. As soon as connection lines colors become red, it indicates that the connection length exceeds the maximum length. Placing a part when connection lines are in red will never be able to meet correct length restrictions. So it is easy to spot where placement will contribute to too long routing and will not meet the length constraints. Another good indicator is the length indicator that is attached to your cursor when you are routing traces with length restrictions. As you start interactively routing the differential pair, the length indicator shows routed and estimated lengths as in also color coded with yellow, green, or red. The length monitor in spreadsheet view also is updated dynamically as you route traces and will change color from yellow to green and to red if a violation of the maximum length will be present. As you start adding accordion pattern for differential pair, length indicator, length monitor, and navigation view provide a great indication of whether you are within the allowed range of length limits.